Hey, Ahmed. Hi. 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 So uh, now this is what we've expected for a long time. There has to be a revolutionary upsurge. Uh, there's no choice but to revolt. It's much like the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising, in fact. Absolutely. Where it comes from. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is a ghetto uh, uprising. It's a, a revolution. It's in making for the past uh, 75 years, more so 55 years, more and more so for 17 years. Mm. Okay. So uh, these are um, people say no to oppression, no to uh, slow death, mm. no, no for uh, apartheid, no for the ghetto. So what happened on October 7th was a revolution. A revolution against the oppressors who took their land and put them in a ghetto. And they put them, as they say, the Zionists, put them on diet, meaningless, meaning they have, they will, they collected, uh, calculated how many are in the Gaza Strip and they give them enough food to survive not to flourish. This is worse. This is worse than the apartheid ghettos. It's, it's very similar to the Second World War, uh, the Jewish ghettos and the Jewish concentration camps. Yes, this is worse than the apartheid in South Africa. Yeah, because it's, it's a, they yeah, think right. we can get away with it because, you know, the Palestinians are a smaller percentage of the population. That's all they calculate, you know, the power of their military might, and that's it. They're capable of doing yeah. it. They're capable of, you know, expelling or uh, annihilating the Palestinians. And then the, yes. they talk like this, too. They say that they're willing to do so. You know, they yes. talk about it in another Nakba. They use the yeah. word itself. It's incredible. Yeah, yeah it, it, it's uh, the, the we, we are dealing. What are we dealing with? We're dealing with a narcissistic, psychopathic cult called Zionism. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it is the very narcissistic. You listen to their leadership, their mm -hmm. military leaders. They always talk as the whole world owes them and they owe the world nothing. Mm -hmm. The whole world has to ab abide with international law and humanity laws. Them. They don't have to because they're entitled. Hmm. They're entitled because they stole the memory of the six million Jews mm -hmm. and they appropriate it to themselves hmm. in order to come to again to the world hmm. and say, oh, we are the only ones who could hold the memory of the six million who perished in the Nazi camps. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we could do whatever we want, including hmm. genocide. Exactly. That's I put out a poster, you know, saying one Holocaust does not justify another. It's it is. Obvious, you know, like, but they're in a, they have this collective psychosis, you know, amongst them, you know, like once, once they decide, you know, like that they have to say something in order to justify their cause, the security of their state, then they say, OK, it's OK to lie, you know, but as long as everybody, you know, lies and, and nobody denies it, you know, then it becomes, you know, reality. No, it's they lie, lie. It. Oh. Yeah. they lie actually worse than Goebbels. Goebbels, at least he knew what he's doing. He know that he's a liar. Mm. These guys they didn't know they're liars. Mm. They're, as I said, narcissistic, psychopathic cult. Mm -hmm. Like, I'll, I'll give you a couple of examples. I was watching Russia Today the other day, having interview with Ehud Olmert, who's supposed to be, quote unquote, a bit on the left side of the Zionists. Mm. And another merits leadership leader who used to be a leader, he's retired. Also, a, a philosophy uh, a philosophy teacher at Bar Ilan University. Both of them, they talk, you know, about peace and uh, you know the need for the IDF to go and uh, finish the job in Gaza, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And when the the interviewer asks him what they think about the fabrication of decapitating 40 babies and rape and murder of all and this. You know what their answer? Their answer was, if you think we will uh, entertain this lie against us, this interview is over. Could you believe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, whenever they're masters in the Knesset or the uh, the government say something 
Mm. Everybody, everybody, mm. okay, left or right, well, of course, there's no, no left there. Anyways, left or right, they will toe the line and they believe in it. They were they, those two guys willing to abrogate the interview. If the interviewer repeated that the 40 cap decapitated babies mm -hmm. was false. Mm -hmm. This is how sick we're dealing with. Even in the we United see. Nations Security Council, they refer to it in an oblique manner, you know, as if it was a valid, you know, like a uh, event yeah. that took place. Yeah. You yeah. know, and the stuff, you know, like even interviews, you know, with the Israeli women living in the settlements and the kibbutzim around there. Yes. The squatters camps, you yes. know, like they say, oh, well, you know, like the guy was, you know, nice, you know, like he treated me well. You know, he just asked yeah. me for a banana, you know, probably there was no bananas in Gaza, you know. <laughs> no. But they wanted hostages, you know, and they treated the hostages well. And they There's no hostages. Hostage. I don't call them hostages. I call them prisoners. They're prisoners, prisoners of that's war. That's right. Yeah. Prisoners of war. Yeah. You know, yeah, those, all those cities around, you know, Gaza that were, uh, you know, retaken there, they are part of the original Gaza as outlined in the partition plan. All the territory, Gaza was twice as big as it is now, according to the yes. partition plan. Yes, yes. And those those kids who went into the colonies, I call them colonies, I don't like to call them settlement because settlement right. gives them a bit of uh, colonies. Okay, are the, these kids actually, they're parents and grandparents came from those areas they actually went to their own homeland their oh, their actual wow. villages wow okay yes it's, it's, it's so historical it's, irony. yes it is ironic very ironic uh, then the entire west media and and establishment they parroting the zionist propaganda as if the history started on october 7th it did not start before that yeah. That's so, so sickening to see the Western in, 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 uh, enterprise, I call it enterprise, being so fascistic. It and beyond that, even, uh, Ahmed, one group, you know, that I am, a, a, you know, a email list on, you know, with, a, you know, 600 Trotskyists, you know, from North America, you know, the old age people, you know, I got censored on it. I can't post on this list anymore. Unreal. It's, Unreal. Incredible, you know, because uh, also because of my position, you know, on Donbass, you know, and defending Donbass, you know, and, you know, I thought about, you know, the similarities between the two, you know, because Ukraine, you know, is bombarding the Donbass, you know, not as intensely as Israel is bombarding Gaza, but, you know, it's still the same action. Up till uh, four or five days ago, the amount of missiles that rained on Gaza, equivalent of a quarter of a nuclear bomb. Ooh. Now we're uh, today. I wouldn't be surprised to be the equivalent of half a nuclear bomb on a very small area. Yeah. You know the the Gaza Strip three sixty five, uh, three six three hundred sixty five square kilometers, while the actual built up area for population is less than one hundred square uh, kilometers, where about two point three million Palestinians are cramped there. So there's no place for them. For safety, they can't find safety. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it's a, it's a sheer terror to live for fourteen days being bombed from skies and land and sea on those people nonstop. It's unreal. It's uh, there's no parallel to this. Uh, even Dresden uh, attacks by the Allies. It used to take one day, then goes for a week without fighting, oh. and the Dresden people used to know what to run. But the Palestinians have no place to run to. Uh -huh. and Everywhere, I think that at the uh, Rafa crossing to Egypt, that yes. the uh, trucks have not been allowed to pass yet. Yes, I know. The Secretary General, did they pass yet? Uh, they were talking about uh, earlier that it will be within the next five hours, but I haven't before. That's getting, right. It if... keeps on getting delayed. Even, you know, uh, the Secretary General of the United Nations went down there, you know, to, to, it, beg, it... to beg Israel to open it up, you know. <laughs> It will if it, this this atrocity, this genocide, okay, yeah. this it, uh, it will backfire on the Zionist enterprise. It will backfire on the West. It will backfire on humanity. This is totally never heard of. Mm. Seeing genocide life, mm. seeing genocide life, mm. while the people of the world are doing nothing, mm. while seeing women and children bombed in mm. hospitals schools mm -hmm. 
in in mosques in uh, in, in in churches churches yeah <laughs> yes in open fields on the road on the move they did not the Zionists did not spare a spot they could kill and they did not they always kill bomb yeah. whenever they All, can they will kill yeah yes so this is this is brings me to the conclusion which we all know that brown people's life non-white european or doesn't matter oriental it's, peoples. Yeah. it's expandable it's yeah. expandable it's called collateral damage while the white people life and european israeli lives matters mm -hmm. while the 4100 palestinian life so far Mostly are innocent women and children are all people. Don't matter. Mm. It's just just a number. Mm. And we could move them. They are sheep. We could move them from one space to another space. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's it's uh, it's it's unreal. It's totally unreal. I, I'm actually I've been living here for 40 years. I'm very, very much flabbergasted mm. how the reaction of the West and its media toward the slaughter of my people. Yes, it's, it's so sickening. I'm sickened to my stomach. Mm -hmm. But now yeah. there's international protests. There's developing like an international revolution against all the uh, countries, you know, that refuse to uh, support Palestine. The United States, you know, is the one, you know, that voted against the resolution calling for a ceasefire. You believe all that? All alone, believe by itself, the same day that the uh, Jewish Voice for Peace occupied the Capitol building with the Could 300, yeah. 500, yeah. Yeah, what what are we doing? Uh, what the Palestinians are up against? They're not uh, up against uh, uh, occultic, uh, uh, narcissistic, uh, psychopath maniacs. Yeah, we are against against up against the entire West, the collective West, mm -hmm. led by United States. Mm -hmm. These are the people who are killing my people. Mm -hmm. They are what happened. The Zionists are the spearhead of this murdering machine, but without the full support of the West, including our government in Canada, that would not take place. So the, the entire responsibility, 100% squarely lies on the West, mainly United States, Canada, Britain, France, Italy, Germany, Sweden, they all bear the ultimate responsibility after the Zionist uh, henchmen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, France yeah. is trying to outlaw the demonstrations like we've had, you know, in Ottawa, Toronto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, all yeah. in France would be illegal, would be attacked by the police. It's incredible. And in it England, is. you know, they're making the holding of a Palestine flag to be illegal. Yes, that but fail. The, the people Same thing are like in, uh, in the Zionists, you know, what the uh, mini empire there, you know, they ban, you know, the uh, Palestine flag. It was banned a long time ago, but then they had to give up. Yeah, no, no, after, no, after the Oslo Accord, the the Accord, they allow it, okay, because they recognize the PLO. Yes. But now they are going haywire. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's this kid of, of a, a piece of cloth. This is how right. they are. Yeah. Okay. They are just, just a bunch of cowards. They've been murdering women and children and old people, murdering... Uh, Land murdering everything in their uh, in their way yeah. to uh, to terrorize the people. That's what they're doing. They're on the revenge spree. That's what they are. They're on revenge spree. Mm. And yeah, nobody's holding the match. They're they're, they're very upset psychologically, you know, because their bubble has burst. You know, absolutely. What happened? Their on psychological October framework. You know, they're thinking of superiority. It's a white supremacist, you know, mentality that they have, it is. led by it the is. Ashkenazim. You know, even yeah. over the uh, Mizrahim and Svaradim. You know, it's a totally caste system. You know, social. Yeah, order. but you know, even in, within any class, you know, within the working class, even within the bourgeoisie. You know, like it's all, you know, such a corrupted society. You know, in the social sense. That it Absolutely. cannot, uh, Absolutely. cannot, uh, you know, be, be, it cannot be coherent, cannot last. The only thing that's keeping it together is, you know, American yeah. armaments. Yes, definitely. What we have in in uh, in the Zionist state, I don't like, you know, I don't call it Israel. Uh, that's too much of of uh, respect. Yeah. The Zionist entity has it's a it's a European colony. It's a it's a crusade 
colony. colony. This time is not white uh, Christians. This time is white Jews mm -hmm. who accepted the job to do the job as a crusaders in the Middle East. Yeah. So the, the so-called Arab Jews are the Mizrahim who joined this mm -hmm. uh, as enterprise. Uh, they have a problem. They have to look, they have to measure up to the white master who came from Europe. And they become, they have also, beside being Zionists, they have the complex of, of the color. They have dark brown color, but they have to act and behave like a white man. Mm -hmm. So uh, most of them are becoming a white man, what I call them the Oreo mentality. Black from outside, white from the inside. It's like Barack Obama, for example, or uh, Lloyd Austin, the, Israel, the American uh, defense minister. They're all Oreos. I, uh, this is the Oreos uh, mentality. Oh, yeah. So what we have, what we have in our hands, Israel, is is a, a white colonial crusade uh, state in the middle of the Arab East. And this place is it has no place in the in the in the middle of the in the middle of the Middle East, and it's it's only time for it, it to be dismantled either by force or by peace. I hope peacefully. I don't I don't like bloodshed, but well, the peace means revolution. That's the only way you know to get peace. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. It has to be internal yeah. revolution within Israel itself. One, mm -hmm. there's the Palestinians. Two, there's the Mizrahim if they wake up. You know, and and three. You I know, don't know. There's, uh, you know, uh, the whole West Bank as well. You know, like they stretch. You know, they they can get stretched thin. You know, like I think they're holding off on actually invading into the Gaza because they know that if they did, they would have another front. You know, with Hezbollah in the north. You know, uh, and then that, that would, you one, know, the West Bank, you know, would you know, rise up. You know, at the same time. That one thing, another thing, which it's really, I think it uh, weighs heavily on the generals, the Israeli generals' uh, mind, is they know they're soldiers. They know they're a bunch of cowards. They know they're just TikTok, TikTok boys. They're not boys. motivated like they used to, you know? They're not, not anymore. These are not the so-called pioneers yeah. who fought the 1948 war, 56 war, 70, 67, even 73. After that, that's it. No more. We having the, the the new era of TikTok and Instagram and Facebook and all these things. Uh, these guys they have other uh, interests besides fighting. They don't want to fight. Yeah. They want to go uh, lie on the beach in Tel Aviv with his oh, girlfriend. That's what boyfriend. happened to the rave, you know, party there. That was all soldiers. Yes. Right next to the They're military base. I saw a video of one woman, you know, with her military pants on, dancing. You know, with a bra top, black, with long black hair, beautiful, tall woman. And in the background is, you know, the parachute is coming in from Palestine, you know, to attack the military base. And they were there. You see, you know, they they this had is very no important. idea what is, you know, the real situation. They had no idea, you know, what Gaza is. You know, they thought yes. Gaza is just, you know, a prison, you know, that they're prison guards or something. You know, what is their mentality? You know, like... And, you know, they want to have fun. Okay, fine. So it's smashed on ecstasy and that's it. You know, that's all. Uh, there's one thing I want to bring to attention. Many people, they don't know. They think Israel or Israel, the Zionist entity, it's like Canada or United States or France or Italy, where people, they go to, they don't go to army. Israel, actually, it's an army has a state. Okay. Israel is an army has a state. Which is means that everybody in Israel is a soldier. Either he is an active soldier or a reservist. Yeah. When you finish your uh, your compulsory uh, service, you put on a list for the rest of your life. Hmm. Okay. According to your, your ability to be to be a reservist. So those in the rave party who are the average age of twenty years old, they are either active soldiers or just finish the reserve, reserve, and they are sitting being as reserve soldiers. Uh -huh. Okay, so attacking those or targeting those are, they are soldiers. Yeah. Okay, I, I am not making any uh, apology to what the people done on October 7th, because this is uh, an outcome, not the reason what happened on October 7th. Hmm. That's not the issue. 
the issue no, no, of the no, liberation no. of Gaza. Exactly. You cannot put 2.3 million people, put them on a diet, put a, a, a barbed wire around them, hmm. and tell them you cannot leave, you cannot get in without our permission. Yeah. If you ha if you have a complicated problem, medical problem, you cannot leave until we let you go. Sometimes people die before going to let's say to the other uh, abroad hospitals, just well, because you know, other hospitals. You know, like there's no hospitals to begin with. The hospitals are finished. No electricity. They've been bombing them. They're bombing All of them, them are bombed. Twenty five are damaged you know, by bombs already, and then there's and they are two big ones that were destroyed. You know, so. By the bunk they are running out bombs, of uh, you know, by... medical supplies. There's no yeah. medical supplies. Yeah. They actually, I was listening the other day, actually yesterday, to uh, a couple of surgeons. He said, first, we're doing surgeries without anesthetic. There's no anesthetic. No. Oh. Gone, gone. It's run out about four days ago. Uh -huh. So they're doing all these uh, surgeries yeah. without anesthetic. Okay, that's number one. Number two, he said, because of the dwindling... Uh, medical supplies okay we have to we are forced between to choose between which is more uh should a lot should live and should die which is more likely okay. to live and more likely not to yeah exactly wow. so plus yeah. plus even after doing some surgeries people die are dying now because there's no antibiotics because after operations oh. you need antibiotics yeah many people are dying because of huge bacterial infections there's no antibiotics and the Zionists are not allowing these life saving this is why I was so concerned about the Rafa crossing there you know like yeah you know like it, if if Israel doesn't allow the you know the delivery of goods you know then there's no choice Egypt has to attack Israel has to, you know, break I don't know, I don't know about border, Egypt. you know, the, already yeah. Egypt, I hear Egypt and Jordan are pledged, you know, to attack from their borders if, you know, the Israel launches a land invasion of the uh, of the Gaza and forces an expulsion of the Palestinians. Or well, I think I think what happened, this is what happened. I think if, if the Israelis decide to go into uh, Gaza by land invasion, which I doubt they would do that. Hezbollah will enter enter the fray. I mean, full full force. Yeah. Okay. That, that will be eventually a regional war. Yeah. We're bringing in Syria and the Iraqis and maybe then the Egyptian and the Jordanian into the fray. I don't think the Americans know the ramification of this situation. Mm. They are supporting and encouraging Israel to do. Mm -hmm. So is the the rest of the West, yeah. and. Either way, Israel is going to lose. It's going to lose. It's lost. It's lost its image. It lost its so-called deterrence. It lost 75 years of, of empire of terror mm -hmm. that it's capable of inflicting terror on people and people has to abide, mm -hmm. abide to its terrorism. Yeah, it's a terrorist state. It is. Yeah. It is. What they're doing is terrorism. It's a pure terrorism. Yeah. It's this is I mean this is textbook case of terrorism what she is doing uh, on Gaza Strip for the past two weeks. Yeah, and they express themselves, you know, explicitly. Oh, you know, yeah. as racist oh yeah. terrorists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, uh, I want to show this again. Oh, what does it say on the top here? I forget now. I can oh, hear. I can see it well. for a just peace. Yeah. Oh, okay. That, good. That was the name of the conference uh, that we started the opposition two thousand. 2001. Excellent. Uh, it was yes. It was pitiful, actually. You know, yeah. there was, um, okay, about 200 of us. You know, from North America and a few from Brazil. Yes. All Jewish. You know, like activists. You know, wanted to find a movement together. We all sort of realized that at the same time, it's it's you know it takes a Jewish revolution to stop the Zionists. And this is what I'm it doing is. at the uh, Jewish Community Center. You know, I'm not going to let them ban me from the Jewish Community Center. I've already won one judge's decision, you know, provisional decision until the October the 30th. October the 30th, I hope, you know, to have the whole condition lifted entirely. And then I'm going to go back there. And I'm going to go back, you know, with a survivor friend, you know, who's part of the, uh, you know, J Jewish Community Center, you know, survivors group there. You know, I think the survivor very good. very interested in I agree with what you I have to say, you know, because I'm a second generation survivor myself. 
Yiddish speaking and everything, you know, like, you know, they can't ignore me and I'm not going to let them, you know. Very good. No, don't don't listen. There's so much to do, you know, internally in the Jewish people because they've been so, you know, like blindfolded by the Zionists here who control everything. You know, the one newspaper calls itself Zionist, you know, <laughs> the one Jewish newspaper in the whole country. <laughs> you know, I, well, you know what? I believe, I strongly believe that uh, Jewish voices against Zionism, whether Jewish for, for peace, uh, Jewish voices, GPLO, Jewish Liberation Organization, all these anti-Zionist uh, Jewish groups, including also to that uh, Satmar and uh, uh, Naturi Karta. Karta. Yeah. Yeah, all of them. These are real, authentic Jews who can delegitimize the Zionist movement from representing the Jews as they are, they, they, they claim to be. Hmm. They have nothing to do with Jews. These are are are, are European fascist uh, movement. Yeah, they are, they are they are no less or uh, better than the Nazis and the uh, fascists yeah. of Mussolini and the par apartheid in South Africa hmm. and the old South in the United States and uh, the earlier story uh, history of Canada with the indigenous people. Yeah. There's no difference. It's the same same uh, mantra, same methodology, same mindset. We are the people. We are the humans, and the rest are not. Yeah, yeah, they say that explicitly now. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, they're very, very uh, outspoken about how uh, tough they are, and uh, uh, they called my people are uh, human animals, mm. like uh, Yoav Gallant, the Israel Defense Minister. He said we're dealing yeah, with defense human... minister. <laughs> yeah, we dealing. Yeah, we're dealing with uh, human animals. And many other like uh, Likud uh, members on the Knesset says uh, there's no civilians in Gaza. They're all terrorists. Like mm -hmm. I heard it many times. They say it in English. They say it in Arabic. They say it in in Hebrew. Even the so, Labour president Herzog. It's it reminds us back to the Nazi era when they blame the Jews for everything. Yeah. And there's no good Jews. They said all Jews are bad. Yeah. So it's the same mentality. It's, it's coming a, back. It's like a genetic years. criteria. It's a racist, racialist uh, criteria. Exactly. So what are we line, doing? Draw is... a line in the world between the Orient and the Occident. Exactly. And they think that, you know, the Occident, which is, you know, the, the junior, you know, like civilization in human history, the juniors think that they're superior, you know, to the ancient civilizations, you know, at the same exactly. time. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So well, what do we have in our hand? We have actually... Uh, 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 another another Nazi state. It's in its own uh, different uh, aspects, but and uh, the crust in the uh, nutshell, they're Nazis. The the, uh, Nazis. the term Nazi, you know, is uh, a, a, a appropriate because I think they are aspiring Nazis. If they could exterminate all the Palestinians, they oh would. yeah. Oh okay. yeah, they, and they, to them. they did so, you know. Yeah. So yeah. If they could, they would, you know. But you know, there's a limitation on them. The limitations on them are imposed one by the United States, which is no limitation. <laughs> <laughs> and the the other well, limitation, I'm... you know, well, the United States doesn't want them to embarrass, you know, the United States, but they want to let them get away with as much as possible before before yeah. you know they. They have to rein them in. It's like a dog on a leash, you know, like a rabbit yes, dog. Yes, okay. exactly. Like, like yesterday, I, I like I, I heard, like what well, I heard, I heard it in the CBC radio, CBC radio, hmm. that 30, 30 members of parliament, mainly from the Liberal Caucus, NDP, and Green Party, send a letter to the prime minister to ask him to press for ceasefire. That's it, to ceasefire. Just you know what he, what, yeah, do you know what his answer was? It, two words. Israel has the right to defend itself. That's it. Oh, okay. That's, He's taking the American line. He's taking the American... No, no, he, he actually, actually, from the first day, he was more Zionist than the Biden. Like, yeah. I heard him in that uh, orgy they had. They organized an orgy, a speaking... A speaker's orgy in, in Ottawa on Sunday. Uh -huh. I remember that the following day. And he and uh, all those so called leaders in Canada, 
It was an orgy, and you could hear him. He's actually, you know, that he's a drama teacher, right? Trudeau. Trudeau. Yeah, oh. he was a drama teacher, right? Oh, he, he's yeah. an actor like Zelensky. <laughs> yes. You know what he did? You know what I did? You should go back to the the his speech. He acted as he is in shock, and he is is holding back here. Uh, and he had his voice cracked. Pierre cracked. Morgan did the same thing, you know. And then he was yes. accused of, you know, promoting, you know, false news. And he said, "No, I never did. I never did." And so they showed, you know, like the original, you know, like this guy. Yeah, but this guy, really this crying, guy's a prime you know, minister. Yeah, same this thing. guy's a prime minister. Yeah, we're not talking about an, an actor, a, a clown oh, yeah. on TV. <laughs> yeah. We're talking about uh, he cracked his voice, sounded like he's holding back tears. Oh, and he was so determined. You should you should look at it. It's very, very clear. The guy was putting all his skills as a drama teacher. A drama teacher is not a, a comical teacher. A drama teacher uh -huh. put all his skills into that moment. Yeah. And it, it's so disgusting. It's so yeah. sick. You see yeah. this guy doing that. Well, he's, he, you know, like he's, he's a, he's, he's something that's, you know, really wrong with this guy because he, you know, like he was hosting a Nazi in the House of Commons. <laughs> yeah. Could you believe it? Could you believe uh -huh. it? Uh, then one, one of his guys took uh, the fall for him. You know, the, the speaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, it's me, it's me. I take it. I don't know. Watch it. This guy will be something big in the future, some kind of position within the Liberal Party or some kind of organization. No, because he was just, you know, like doing what he knew everybody was thinking. You know, he knew that. Oh, no, 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 no. You see, you cannot invite somebody to the parliament without the CSIS and RCMP oh, yeah. make a, a profile, a, a back for a background profile on them. Yes. Before, it, because, but they thought it will pass. Okay. But oh. the media, uh, but they were exposing Steve it. is coming on. on. But, oh, okay. oh, hi. Great. Okay. But the, we only have a couple of minutes left here. Let him speak then. <laughs> okay. So, uh, you know, let's just take a, a minute uh, uh, so each, you know, to conclude and then we'll start another, uh, we'll start another video after this in another 40 minutes. Okay. Sure. Sounds good. Okay, good. Okay. So, so, uh, okay, Ahmed, in conclusion, you know, for this, you know, audio. Well, in conclusion, I would say shame on the West, shame on Canada, shame on the United States for uh, slaughtering my people. We will triumph. We will overcome. And Israel will eventually get its uh, spot in the historical garbage bin next to Nazis and the apartheid regime. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I, I agree. You know, that's what's going to happen. You know, this cannot uh, endure. And uh, the uh, Jewish people are not going to let it endure, you know, alongside the Palestinian people. Yes, yes. Yeah. So uh, what is your impression of the current... Uh, uh, revolt of the Palestinians and this and the occupation and the siege of uh, Gaza, Steve. I think that the Palestinians have resisted in a manner that is among the most heroic in world history. Uh, I think the Israelis have lowered themselves to a status lower than that of the devil. I think that what they are doing has shown who they are. We can make a mistake, but this is not a mistake. This is a pattern of behavior we have seen for decades by the Zionist butchers against the Palestinian people in general and toward people who, who are called Arabs in, in particular. It's just disgusting. There's yes. nothing short of you. Nothing short of, nothing short of sitting. Israel is nothing short of sitting on the right hand of Satan. Yeah, well, they they wouldn't care if they were. They wouldn't Not, care. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we'll get together again. You know, uh, in the surgent uh, condition that we're facing. Yep. Yeah.